Welcome. In this video I'm going to be taking a look at this Jellycomb multi-device Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad. This keyboard was provided to me by the distributor but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon and if you use that link it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So here's the keyboard. It comes with a micro USB charging cable. Here's a warranty card and a user manual. So let's take a look at a couple things here. Here's a little chart of what those functions are. And they have the touchpad functions. You have single finger slides, which moves the cursor, single finger clicks, single finger double click, two finger vertical slides. So that'll move the scroll bar horizontally or vertically. And you can do pinch and zoom. And here are some of the specs here. It says compatible systems, Mac OS and iOS. So as I said, this seems to be tailored for those systems, but it obviously does work with Windows. And I'm sure this would work with Android too. You just have to take into account that you're using the command key instead of the Windows key. The battery capacity is 450 milliamp hours. Battery life is 1000 times charge and discharge cycles. Key life is 10 million clicks. Standby time is 200 hours. Continuous working time is 50 hours. Wake up way is press any key. Operating distance is within 26 feet. The working current is less than five milliamps. Touch working time is less than or equal to 10 milliamps. Working voltage is 3.7 volts. The keyboard dimensions are 369.5 by 117 by 16 inches. So I think those are some millimeters. I'm not sure those dimensions they're showing there. And the keyboard weight is 535 grams. And this talks about the sleep mode. I know this interests a lot of people. When the keyboard is not used for over 30 minutes, the keyboard will automatically enter into sleep mode. The indicator light will be off. When you want to use the keyboard again, please press any key. The keyboard will wake up within three seconds and the indicator light will be on again. So while I'm taking a look at this all, charge it. I don't know if it's charged already. Usually things like this have some charge on it, but we should charge it at least a little bit. So it has micro USB charging there on the side. So this feels very substantial. It has a nice heavy feel to it. And one of the defining features of this keyboard is the multi-device support. So you have Bluetooth 1, 2, and 3. So you can connect this to three different Bluetooth devices. So I think that's a really handy feature. So this will work with Mac, iPhone, iPad, Windows, Android, pretty much anything that supports a Bluetooth keyboard. Now I see here that they use the command key as opposed to the Windows key. So I feel like this is kind of being marketed towards Mac or iOS users, but I frequently use Windows keyboards with my Mac. So, you know, you use what keyboard you like and you can easily adapt it to work with different systems. So on the top here, we have escape, we have the brightness controls, we have the, I forget what they call it, is it expose? The controls to like shrink your windows, things like that. You have the play, fast forward, pause, mute, volume, and then you have your Bluetooth keys there. So this obviously does not have a 10 keypad on it. So if you're an accountant, this may not be the keyboard for you or if you work with lots of numbers on the side. I don't tend to use the 10 keypad very often. So on the bottom here we have some rubber feet up top and these are non-rubber feet. I think, yeah, those are just the keyboard material. So it doesn't seem to slide, this is grippy enough. To turn it on we have a switch here, so I'll hit that to on. Then we can hit the Bluetooth, it's kind of hard to see on here. So if we hit the Bluetooth one, that is flashing now. So that's probably automatically going into pairing mode but otherwise you can press it for three to five seconds to go into pairing mode. So I'm going to pair this up with some devices. I'll start with my MacBook. So I'll go into my preferences. I'll go to Bluetooth. And I'll hold this button down for three to five seconds. Okay, so it's flashing here. We have Bluetooth keyboard on the Mac. I'll hit connect. It says connected. Okay. So the touchpad is working. Let's try the keyboard. It's working. So this seemed to recognize it and it's very compatible with my Mac. It's not asking me to calibrate it or anything. So I'll close out of this. So if I go to my desktop here, if I hit the right click button, it right clicks. I'll try a web page. Okay, I'm scrolling with two fingers now, so that's working. I can zoom in, so I can do like pinch and zoom. So that's working, that's very cool. Okay, now I'm going to try and pair this with my Windows computer. Okay, so now I'm in Windows, I'll go to settings here, and then I'll go to devices, and we have add Bluetooth device. 
and I'll hit the second button here, Bluetooth 2. I'll say I want to add a Bluetooth mouse. Don't know if that's connecting, so I will hold that down. And now it's flickering. I don't know if that's visible on here. Let me get that up here closer. So you can see that flickering there is saying it's Bluetooth pairing. Okay, so it found the keyboard. I'll connect to it. I'll hit done. Okay, so now it's working. So I'll close out of here. I can hit the command button and that will open up the Windows start menu. Let's go over here, I can right click, okay. I'll open up a web browser. I'm scrolling. Let's try pinch and zoom. There we go. So that's working well. So now I'll add a third device. I'll add my iPad. Okay, so I'm in the Bluetooth settings. I'll hit the third Bluetooth button. I'll hold that down for three to five seconds. Okay, it's flickering now. I'll choose Bluetooth keyboard. I'll hit pair. So now I hit Command Tab, and it's letting me go through to different apps. So it's paired up with this. I'll open up Search. I'll do Command Space to open up Search. I'll open up Pages. And you can see the mouse is working on here too, or the touchpad. So I can say Create Document, Blank. This is a test. So now let's say I want to go back over to my Mac. I'll hit Bluetooth 1. And I'm over on my Mac now where it's recording with the uh, game capture software. I'll go to Windows with 2. And now I'm over at Windows. So I'm moving the mouse here, but the keyboard also works. So I can hit the keyboard. So if you have multiple desktops, a traditional way to use one keyboard with multiple machines was to use a KVM, and this performs pretty much the same function. Of course, this really comes in handy if you have multiple monitors running multiple systems. So say you have Windows on one, Mac on another, you can assign one of your Bluetooth devices on here to each one and pair it up. So if your Mac is on the left, you might assign that to Bluetooth 1, so you'd hit 1 to use it. Your Windows machine is on the right, you'd hit 2 to use it and you could swap back and forth very quickly. So I think this is very handy. So say you do have two computers on your desk and you're using this and it's just fine and you have that third Bluetooth opened up and you're not using it on anything, you could pair that up with say your Fire TV stick, your PlayStation, your Xbox, something like that. Maybe it's a device you don't even need a keyboard with very often. Like on my Fire TV stick, I don't use a keyboard regularly, but every once in a while I need to type in a password or do something on it where it would be handy to have a keyboard. So with a keyboard like this, you could set that up on one of your inputs if you're not using it for something more important. And then this is sitting at your, say, business computer all day. You're doing your business work. In the evening, you're going down, you have to log into some kind of streaming account. You could hit that third device and then use this keyboard with that streaming device. When you're done with it, you go back to whatever input you were using it on before, put it back at your desk, and you're good to go. So it's very versatile in that manner. So that's the Jellycomb multi-device Bluetooth keyboard with touchpad. And I forgot to mention earlier, this is K200 is the model number on this. I think this is a very versatile keyboard. I think it would work great in an office setting, but also in your home theater setting, this would be good too, because you could connect this up to a home theater PC or whatever other devices you have connected. Depending on how you travel, you could also travel with this to connect it up to an iPad or a laptop or say a streaming device or something like that. You could potentially also use this with a computer connected to a projector system to do presentations and things like that. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.